Alright, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a townhouse in Minecraft. But of course, as you can see, there are three townhouses and we are going to build this middle one. If you are also wondering where we are, this is a new part of the city which I am creating and these townhouses are one of the first builds over here. So all the blocks that you're going to need in this video are these ones. Brick block, brick stairs, brick wall. Deep slate tiles, deep slate tile stairs, deep slate tile slabs, deep slate bricks, deep slate brick stairs, tinted glass, light glass pane, light gray stained gla glass pane, that was a tongue twister, dark oak door, iron bars, chain, lantern, dark oak fence, and the side, and the slab, straight dark oak log, dark oak planks, dark oak stairs, flower pot with azalea, white concrete, path, dripstone block, and diorite. These are all the blocks you're going to need for the exterior and the unfurnished interior of the house. So to begin the tutorial, we are building the front side of the house first. So that's the side that's 10 blocks wide. You're going to place brick here, 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 and here. Which means you're going to have two blocks in between each brick. Now you're going to place brick walls here, on the left side and the middle. And here you are going to place two blocks wide deep slate tiles. And now just place one more here add stairs and you have stairs to walk up to the house. It's time to extend these brick columns. So now it's time to extend these brick columns six blocks up. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. So I did the exact same thing on all other three columns. It's time to create windows and a door. Add deep slate tiles in between these two and connect all of these with brick. Now add deep slate slabs here, 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 and over here above each opening. And now I will be adding tinted glass as windows. All the windows on the front side of the house are going to be tinted because we all want our privacy. But in the back of the house, the windows will be more see-through. Now to create the door for the house, I'm just going to use three panes of black glass to here and in the middle I'm going to use dark oak fans. I'm just going to change this, of course, to get rid of the to get rid of the markings. And now let's go and build a second floor. So what you're gonna do is use deep slate tile stairs and turn them upside down so you can create this cool in-between section between the first and the second floor. Now we're going to do a very similar thing. You're going to build five blocks up. Not on the last block here, on this one over here. The same thing on the other side. Five blocks up. And now the fun thing you're going to do is use brick stairs to create this cool corner design that makes the top floor look much cooler. We are adding two more brick columns. Connecting all of them, adding brick walls on these two windows that are going to be tinted, of course. Adding four tinted glass blocks in the middle section. And now, using the deep slate tile slabs, you will create a balcony, add these hanging parts, or whatever they are, I don't know the name for them. So now it's time to add the doors for the balcony go inside and place the dark oak doors over here and place light gray stained glass panes on the balcony like that to light up the front side of the house we are going to use iron bars over here and then add chain and lantern this is a very cool wall lighting design that we are going to replicate on the front and the back side of the house So we have the first two floors done, but there is a twist. There is another floor. For the last floor, in this townhouse, we are going to use deep slate bricks. So I'm just going to place another layer of deep slate bricks on top. Excuse my messy placing. Place another layer. Oh my god. Okay. And now place the deep slate bricks stairs on the second one, like this. So now it's time to build a terrace on the last floor as well as the wall. So to start off, you are going to destroy these inner 
blocks here, replace them with andesite, like this, and bring them two more blocks towards yourself. And now just use deep slit bricks and wrap the andesite around. Alright, now you're going to use brick walls on the left and the right side. Here you're going to use here you're going to use deep slate bricks and create something like this and then just add stairs over here so you have a five block tall side piece and as the rest of this house you're going to do the same thing on the right side so to build a wall in between these two wall pieces you have to use deep slate tiles four blocks up on both sides add two blocks over here and then use tinted glass, three blocks up, and then put it over the middle section, add deep slate tile slabs on top of everything, and then you're also going to add them over here. Now to finish off the terrace, you're going to add some more stuff, like light gray stained glass panes, to create a fence, and also the dark oak doors. I'm going to replace these two tinted glass blocks with black stained glass to sort of add more texture and make it less repetitive. So these two parts over here are more, you know, visible. Now let's go build the back of the house, which is going to be very similar, but there will be some important differences. As you can see, the walls of the house are not actually going to be on this line here. I'm going to bring them in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to count one, two, three, and on the fourth block, I am going to create a line. This line will be the actual wall of the house. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to bring this line two blocks up. Like this. Now, I will destroy these two blocks here. And now I'm going to create the same first floor design like we did on the front side of the house. I stopped here because this is where things actually get different. I am going to add black stained glass panes on these windows to allow some natural sunlight into the house from the back side and I am going to create the door design on the back. So this is pretty much how it's going to look. And if you're wondering what this gap is doing here, that's because this is where the stairs are going to go. You should use strip dark oak log and create a design in an L shape that has three blocks on this side and then six blocks like this with one missing. Add stairs again and fill this in with dark oak planks and fill in the gap as well now that we have that i'm going to use light stained glass panes to create a fence again but the one thing i'm gonna do is remove these pieces to just don't have that clipping through and now i'm just going to add andesite slabs to create another level so you can walk up here and then to the back side door like on the front side of the house, the second floor design will be pretty similar, but with the but with the absence of the balcony. All right, so as you can see, the doors are not on the back side of the house. The balcony will not be there. So I am just going to put the black glass panes here and that's pretty much all that you have to do and again it's time to go on the top floor but this is where things get a bit different so i'm going to add one line of the andesite block here wrap it around with dipset bricks and then create the similar wall pieces like on the other side. All right, so now it's time to build a wall. 
again, for block sap, use deep slate tiles, then slabs, then after that, get rid of these, I don't know why I put them there, use into glass, add more of these, and then do something like this. Once you have this design, once you have this design, just add black stained glass panes in the middle, in all the sections, and create this lock terrace with iron bars. People won't be able to walk onto this terrace, it's just for decoration, but it looks pretty cool, so that's how it looks. Now that we have everything built, it's time to add the lights, like on the front side of the house. The second floor has the exact same light fixtures. Well, the first floor has something a little bit different. You're going to add iron bars here and over here, add the chains, but now, instead of the lanterns, you will add a pot and azalea. You'll do the same thing over here, and you pretty much have this cool hanging plant design, which I really like. Now that we are done with that, it's time to build everything in between. All right, to... All right, just to make sure the sides of the house from the outside are going to be blank. There will not be any wall exterior. It's just going to be covered because it's going to be covered by other houses that are next to it. Townhouses are usually all stacked next to each other, so none of these houses have exterior walls on the side, only the front and the back. I am going to go over these lines, placing white concrete. I'm going to have it two blocks tall. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side as well. And now, all this stuff in between is going to be filled with dark oak log, the stripped one. Now, pay close attention to the floor plan. I am going to bring these white concrete walls up one more block, but don't worry, they're actually going to go all the way up. Before I do that, I really want to show off how the floor plan is going to look for the first floor. So, what you're going to do is add one block of concrete here, have a gap of four blocks, and then create this L shape like this. Now, you are going to leave a hole here, replace these seven blocks with diorite, add three blocks of tough on this side, three blocks of white concrete here, and then here you're going to have two more blocks of white concrete. So now that we have that, I am going to build the accent wall in the living room over here. Instead of the white concrete, there will be the deep slate block. Actually, it's called the dripstone. All right, so I'm going to bring all of these blocks three more blocks up because the walls are going to be four blocks tall. Oh, you're probably wondering how I did that. Well, with the power of the world added mod, everything is possible. I did this in just seconds. So I'm just going to close off this gap and add two more blocks here and add the dark oak door to have the door for the bathroom. Yeah, the bathroom is going to be inside. So now, to build the stairs, this is pretty much what you have to do. You should count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 blocks from the wall, and on this block, just place the stairs and follow this exact design. Now that you're here, just extend these dark oak blocks all the way here. Add another block. Now to close off the first floor, I am just going to put white concrete as a ceiling. So what you're gonna do is, again, put white concrete on the side. I'm just going to, I'm just gonna destroy this, and then fill everything in with dark oak log.
Alright, so what I'm gonna do now is build the actual walls because this time it's a bit different. So I am going to have tough six blocks wide. This is seven. This is six. Okay. And then build this up five blocks. Not four, five blocks. I mean four, so you can have a so you can have a wall that's five blocks tall. Now what you're gonna do is put gypsum block here, just one line, and then extend it for five blocks here. One, two, three, four, five. You have this. Now fill the rest of the now fill the rest of this side with white concrete. And I will tell you what this gypsum line is for, but a bit later you have to keep watching the video. The other side of the floor will have the exact same white concrete wall. I'm just going to add brick walls here in this section and then use the light gray stained glass panes for the fence. So it looks like this. So what we are going to do is going to place three pointed drip stones here, here and on the right side. You're going to do the same thing on these two blocks here. Oh, wow. The drops are glowing that's cool so now we are gonna do is connect these opposite sides to create a very cool pattern for the wall divider just follow the steps quickly you see that it, it looks pretty cool so this is pretty much the wall divider that we're going to have in house it's modern it's a bit retro but i think it fits this house perfectly stairs here which is which are going to actually be wider. Place four blocks of planks over here and then create a similar stair shape and the design like you did on the previous floor. Just that these stairs are actually going to be two blocks wider. There we go. Now it's time to create a ceiling for the second floor. Create this shape with white concrete to have a hole for the door. The bathroom on the floor is going to be quite large. This is a very large bathroom. It's five by five blocks. It's pretty good. Um, and this is how it looks. Of course, fill it with diorite. And now what I'm going to do is instead of using the strip dark coke log, I am just going to use planks. Now what I have to do is, of course, create the walls. Now what I'm gonna do is create a very cool and modern door design, which looks like this. And it's time to make the ceiling. Now what I'm gonna do is use shroom lights and iron trapdoors to add some light inside because, as you can see, it's pretty dark. And here what I'm gonna do is add skylights. So as you can see, I'm going to go one block away from the windows and create skylights over here. And I will use eight iron trapdoors to create a very cool looking skylight, which allows natural light, but also makes this area more open. And that's exactly what I'm going to do in the bathroom. And this is pretty much it. Now it's time to furnish the house. So let's go.
what's happening? Oh, wait, what am I building now? Oh, you didn't know? Well, I'm actually building a basement, which is going to be quite scary and weird. Yeah, you just have to keep watching the video and tell me in the comments what you think about this basement. I really want to know. Poor villagers. I don't even know why they are locked up in a cage. Don't tell anyone about this, okay? Alright, back on the bright side, now I'm just going to build some more stuff in front of the house and in the back of the house because I just want to add some greenery and you don't have to do this. You really don't have to do this part at all, but I mean, but it's going to complete this entire build, so you should probably do it. <laughs> 